Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. This is an information video. These are 433 MHz RF transmitter and receiver modules that I bought from an online store. When I received this, they are all independently well packed inside the package. This is 433 MHz receiver module. I bought 5 pair of transmitter and receiver and I am working in an RF switch circuit. The circuit is not working and I spent a lot of time in it and still the working was poor. I tested the circuit without RF module and it's working fine and when I connected the RF module the RF switch is not working. I replaced it with another one still failed and each time it is showing different symptoms like in one module if the transmitter and receiver modules antennas are connected each other then it will work if released it will not work so symptoms are different i replaced with another receiver module it is showing another symptom and so on so i thought that this is the problem with my circuit three consecutive modules will not be having issues at least i don't believe it so i worked on it and confirmed the circuit is working fine then i started suspecting the rf modules so started testing each modules independently without connecting to the circuit the first three receiver modules are not working as expected and the rightmost module, the range is poor, only 5 to 7 feet maximum I am getting with a good antenna. And this transmitter module is not even transmitting a single signal. This transmitter do not have much components, only three transistors and a few resistors and a few capacitors and a 433 MHz crystal. So let me try whether I can fix it. These all modules are faulty, this is partially working, that is range is less and these things are working fine. I bought 5 pair of transceiver, that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Out of these transceivers, only this receiver is working and 4 transmitters are working, all others are faulty. I am not expecting that 4 receivers are faulty, or not 2 can be faulty, but here four receivers are faulty it is actually a ridiculous one so what i am recommending to you is if you are buying these kind of modules test it properly before connecting to the circuit else you will ruin your circuit because of the fault of the module you are connecting these type of modules are using lc oscillators that means for matching the transmitter and receiver frequency you have to tune this coil so any shake in this module will change it. But this transmitter module is not using any inductor or ferrite core coil. Instead of that it is using a crystal and will be constant all the time. So I recommend using this module for your RF circuits. In my channel I have made 3 videos using this and all are working perfectly fine. I will add the video links in the description. These two modules are working in 433 MHz and the left one has lot of components and right one has less components. This one has a single IC which will control everything including crystal oscillator. Lengthwise this one is a bit bulky than other but it has more stability than the other one. If you like this video please click like button. And also if you have any suggestions or doubt related to this video or anything then please comment on this video. I need to separate out these non-working modules and these are working perfectly fine so these need to be kept inside my inventory and these should be kept outside. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.